wanted to speak a, a minute or two about a man who I regard as um, the, perhaps the most important teacher uh, in life for me. And uh, his name is Barry Lopez. And he's not overtly a teacher. He wasn't my school teacher. He wasn't a university professor. Barry Lopez, as many of your listeners would know, is one of America's great writers. He's not doing so well at the moment, uh, too, which is why he's on my mind a great deal. But I've chosen Barry because when I stop and think about it, he's perhaps as a grown up in my life as a grown up, he's um, taught me uh, through the way he lives and the way he, he enacts friendship, the way he enacts writing. He's, he's taught me um, uh, almost the larger part of what it is that I think I know that has any merit these days specifically. Um, Barry has changed um, the way that I've come to understand the human relationship with the more than merely human world. Uh, and uh, Barry Lopez, uh, through getting on for 50 years, I suppose, or more, has written books that uh, allowed us all to reimagine um, the human story as a chapter within the natural story uh, and landscape as uh, a way, as a, as a poem, almost landscape as a poem capable more than just about anything else of uh, uh, li lifting our regard for um, what it is to be a human in the fullest sense of the, uh, the word. But Barry has also been my teacher um, in a couple of other ways. Um, it's sometimes been said of Barry Lopez that he doesn't know how to write a bad sentence and I happen to know that that's not true uh, because like the rest of us who write um, he knows how to write bad ones too but he knows how to fix them is the thing uh, and he knows how to stick at the typewriter and take the writing through the drafts until it feels as though it's um, uh, been written just so just once just the first time and perfectly I don't know if you can hear my dog in the background there, Bob, but I can. And I take that as a sign because Barry's also been a great dog lover uh, uh, through his life. He lives in um, Fin Rock up the Mackenzie River from the town of Eugene in, uh, in Oregon. I've stayed there as recently as this last February, uh, actually. Um, and I wrote a poem for Barry Lopez, and um, I think it captures something of my regard for him as well as... Um, uh, his, uh, the, the importance of place, that place in particular for him. But I wanted to say, um, as a writer, he's taught me how to write really, how, how to have regard for the topography and the uh, imminence within a well-made phrase and sentence. Uh, he's helped me understand just how important our landscape is to our um, construction, even of a well-made sentence, let alone of a well-made life. But as a man, I think Barry's been, to me, an elder is how I would summarize that. And uh, he's taught me through some troubled times in my life how to stay alive and how to uh, continue to live with love. Even when one is uh, in the midst of trauma, his own life story is a story of surviving profound uh, childhood trauma uh, and constructing out of that about the most beautiful life that I've ever had the opportunity to witness so when I'm in strife and trouble, and um, I think of how he himself as a child um, made his way through about the worst trauma that a child could be asked to get through and how he's turned that trauma into a life dedicated to the love of others, the love of wolves, the love of landscape, the importance and centrality of uh, well-made literature. Um, and uh, he's, made of his life an act of kindness and friendship, if I can put it that way. And um, that's meant a lot to me and has taught me <clears throat> a great deal about how to live a little better than I might have done otherwise. So I want to thank Barry for his life, um, of which he may not have all that much more to spend, it turns out, but I, I want to thank him for that and have him understand, as one of my students reminded me just this week, that um, all of this is Barry Lopez's fault. What she meant was i Put her onto a book of Barry's called Of Wolves and Men and she said I can't be in this world the same way I was uh, before I read that book and that's true for me uh, with regard to Barry and his life and his friendship and uh, his body of work so thank you Barry Lopez.